Should there be any limits on abortion at all? Is it life in the womb and does that make a difference? And does the Bible have anything to say about abortion? Today, I'm gonna to be answering those questions as well as responding to Billie Eilish's recent pro-abortion rant in Texas. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Isaac David and this is The Daily Disciple where I help you find Jesus and follow him daily. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe because I'm putting out new videos every single day. A huge shout out to the patrons on Patreon. It is a huge blessing to have you guys supporting me on there helping this ministry keep going and growing. We had a video call the other day. We do these monthly video calls where we talk about a specific topic. Last month was all about prayer and it was really encouraging to hear all the stories of answered prayers and how God was working in the different patrons lives and it's always an encouragement to see your guys faces so if you want to join those calls and also sign up and help support this ministry head on over to the link in my bio and become a patron today now on to the video so I don't think I need to give you too much context in setting up this video most of you know who Billie Eilish is she, she's a Grammy award-winning artist um, but recently she has become a lot more uh, outspoken about her progressive beliefs and they're uh, they're not unexpected progressive beliefs she lives in Los Angeles she's a popular celebrity like this isn't uncommon for celebrities to talk about how they're pro-abortion and pro-planned parenthood and all that kind of thing but recently she has become even more outspoken and that is demonstrated in this kind of shocking rant about the new law that was passed in Texas, the heartbeat bill. Um, and so she went off on that. And I just think let's respond to this video. And I want to give some pushback to her rant from a biblical perspective. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. I am so sick and tired of old men. Okay, this is kind of unrelated. I know what she's going to get at, and most of you know where she's going with this, you know. Uh, but I just feel bad for old people, man. Everyone's trashing on old people these days. I'm not saying, like, old people aren't a specific, like, it's not like all old people believe the same things. But it's just, like, hilarious how all old people are now, like, the worst. Like, if you're on TikTok at all or any kind of social media, it's always all these millennials and Gen Z talking about, oh, my goodness, these old people, they're so bad, and, and all these kind of things. It's like... So so funny where it's like guys not all old people believe the same thing it's just kind of funny to me you know whatever men in general <laughs> sorry bro what bro how could you say that man i'm just a guy i didn't I didn't I didn't choose my gender. Well, actually, she probably believes you can choose your gender. So I don't know about that. I don't what I'm confused now. Anyway, it's just like, come on, man. You hurt my feelings, dude. Come on, dog. I'm I feel men have feelings, too. But old ones, especially. Oh. Shut the f up about our body. I'm trying to I'm trying to put myself into their shoes, right? Like when you believe something could, totally different from from what they believe. She is so angry about this. And the narrative is, oh, it's about women's bodies. Old men are doing are, are are having control over women's bodies, which is like on the surface, right? Like if that's actually the narrative, you're like, "Wow, that's that's messed up, right? Like that who are these old guys, you know? Like get out of here old guys let, let girls do what they want with their own bodies that's messed up old man get out of here but but that's not actually what abortion is and that's so interesting how this narrative that has been shifted from okay like there's another life in the womb like oh man we don't want to do abortions because that's a baby in there and it's unfortunate circumstances so i guess we got to make a tough choice here or you know got to make them safe you know legal and rare or whatever the heck you know like you kind of push it off to the corner it's not so good to now it's like whoa abortion is our right and you are an old guy or a man and get away from our body like like what like it's wild and and they're totally discounting the whole reality of the situation where it's not your body there is another body inside of your body like how do we not how do we miss out on that and i have to be honest with you that when they made it a law, 
I almost didn't want to do this show. So, because I wanted to punish this place for allowing that to happen here. But then, I remembered that it's you guys that are the victims and you deserve everything in the world. Whoa, oh my goodness. Can you believe that? Oh my. They're the victims? The, the people that are at this, con they're the victims. You guys are, you're being oppressed by these old men and so sad and you're the victims. It's like, what? What about the babies? What, what about them? Like, this is like, you know you're living in a twisted world when the perpetrators are seen as the victims, right? It's like, you're not the victim here. No, I'm sorry. There, there's plenty and plenty of victims, but, but you're not one of them. And obviously, I wish I didn't need to clarify this, but for some people, like, they just, I don't know, they don't make the connection or whatever. But if you are a victim of rape or incest and, and you get pregnant, of course, you were, um, you know, a victim to a cr crime, like, in that way. But that doesn't mean that you have the right to c perpetrate another crime in killing your baby. Right. And so it's like, OK, you can acknowledge that there was harm done there and that was evil and we should seek justice. And uh, like, absolutely, of course. Right. But that doesn't mean that we have the right to perpetrate another crime. And we need to tell them to shut the f up. Do this. This is kind of horrifying. Like, I just got to be honest, like as much as I, I you, you try to try to get in their mind and, and try to, OK, what are they thinking here? How can we best kind of guide them towards the truth and, and all that kind of thing? At the end of the day, um, you know, it, it's it's a, it's appropriate to see this as, as scary and, and horrifying that so many people would be so adamant about silencing um, the unborn, which is basically like it's so interesting how um, Billy was saying, oh, you know, tell them to shut the F up right that was her that was her thing right in in a way she's she's saying shut the f up to the babies in the womb like i'm serious and maybe that seems extreme to some of you but that's just consistent thinking if that is a life in the womb then it's not just your bodies and it's not just your choice and it's not just a matter of them shutting up it's about people stepping forward and actually speaking up for the lives of the unborn the people that can't speak for themselves do you consider yourself a feminist Yes. And what does that mean to be a feminist? Uh, I think that women have the right to their own choice with their body. And men do not have the right to tell them they cannot have an abortion. Absolutely. They don't tell men to get a vasectomy. Women don't tell men to get a vasectomy or try to get that to be the law. It's along the same lines. It's, it's, it's control over your body. Let's talk. Bro, what? Bro, what? What? A vasectomy is the same as an abortion. I, with all due respect, my guy, those are not along the same lines at all. It's along the same lines. It's 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 control over your body. Let's talk about that. Okay, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to ask you, do you think there should be any limits on abortion? Right now in Texas, they're doing six weeks. No, there shouldn't be okay. because, because the, the Bible, first of all, the Bible has no white people in it whatsoever. Sec uh, that's a really good point. Wait a minute, what? Wait, what? What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Can you imagine in a conversation you're having a completely normal conversation, then all of a sudden somebody somebody just pipes up and they're like, "Wait a minute, but the Bible has no white people in it whatsoever, bro. What does that have to do with anything, my guy? What does what are we doing?" Secondly, the Bible should not be telling Congress and politicians what to do. Sadly, there's a lot of money in it, so they do. People hate the Bible. They really do. They hate all the verses about life, the unborn being knit together in our mother's wombs. They hate it because it tells them that they are doing something that is wrong. It actually puts a responsibility and accountability 
onto us. And that's the exact thing that abortion is trying to absolve ourselves of, is responsibility of accountability, of obligation to care for the next generation because we want to be free to do whatever we want to do. And also, I know I don't get into politics too much on this channel, but I need to say this. Um, laws are based on some kind of morality. All laws are based on some kind of morality. And you either get that law from the Bible or you get it from the human heart. And the Bible says that the human heart is desperately wicked. And so I would much rather get my laws from the Bible on what uh, should should be you know the law and what should not be the law as opposed to some guy on the street named Craig or Devin or uh, you know Martha I, I don't know I don't care much about their opinions I'd rather go to the Word of God and see what God says about it Bible aside should there be any limit on to when a woman no. should get an abortion no I know after 20 weeks an abortion yes, is viable outside of the womb do you think at that point it's too what late if, what if the woman's life is at risk sure. and the the husband and wife had, or just she has made the choice that she wants to live it's her choice the fact of the matter is this guy can't defend his position on abortion so he goes to the most unlikely of scenarios the life of the mother is at stake um which you know are you you want the mother to die like how hateful are you are you kidding me right now it's like bro you've you've turned it on us and tried to deflect the questions you are just the one vying for abortion all the time up until like nine months the baby's born. Like that's wild. And that's kind of based on their own morality that they've created for themselves. They've abandoned the word of God and we need to hone back into the word of God because otherwise, look, hey, you know, you're like, well, I don't want the Bible to oppress me or, or force its opinion on me. I'm a free thinker. I, I can do what I want. Okay, well, then you're literally just left with your own opinion. And a lot of other people are going to create their own opinions and own moralities and it's going to be a disaster. The fact of the matter is if you want to support abortion, you need to uh, put on the blinders and not see what's truly going on. But we need to come to terms with what's truly going on, what God has said in his word in terms of the value of every human life, the dignity, the worth, how it is created in the image of God. We need to hold to that. Otherwise, you're just left with your own ever-changing opinion on what is right and what is wrong. And that is a slippery slope, my friends, that is already going too far in terms of literally legalizing murder, which is absolutely messed up, which is against God. And that doesn't mean that we can't be passionate about other causes in terms of making sure the babies and families are being cared for, because I think those things should go hand in hand. But that definitely doesn't mean that we shouldn't stand up for the unborn because we still got work to do in other areas. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, give a like down below and leave a comment with some of your thoughts. Once again, thank you to everyone on Patreon who supports what I'm doing here in creating Christ-centered content. Uh, I will see you guys next time. God bless.